Hi, and welcome to this third tutorial on Jamulus. Today we're going to cover recording a Jamulus session using a program called Reaper. Now, before we get into the specifics, I wanted to show you a quick flowchart that might help you understand sort of why we're doing what we're going to be doing today so that instead of just simply following step-by-step -step instructions, um, the, the, the why can make a little more sense to you. So take a look at this top little flow chart here. Um, you might already be asking yourself, wow, he must be really bored. And yes, I am. Please send help. Um, so when you use Jamulus by itself, um, we use some sort of ASIO program, but we've been talking about ASIO for all, uh, to gather our two audio sources over here and then send and receive for Jamulus, okay? So our microphone uh, signal goes through ASIO for all into Jamulus. Whoever we're jamming with, their sound comes back through ASIO and into our headphones. Um, now, when we add Reaper into the mix, uh, Reaper serves as a bit of a middleman. Uh, so we are still going to have ASIO gather our microphone and our headphones are in and out, but they're going to do it for Reaper. And then Reaper has an additional function within it that allows that information to then be sent to Jamulus. And so our microphone is then going to go into ASIO, into Reaper, into Jamulus, and then everyone else that we're jamming with goes, their sound goes into Reaper, through ASIO, and then back into our headphones. Um, you might be concerned that with this extra step that there creates a little bit of extra latency. I've tested this and uh, it's really, um, if it's, it's milliseconds, uh, so don't be too concerned. Uh, it offers a really high quality recording and it's relatively easy to set up. So now that we have gone through that little flow chart, time to make Reaper the middleman. <laughs> so you're going to open up your browser and you're going to Google. Did I say that I like to use Google? We are going to Google Reaper and we're going to go to the very first reaper.fm site that we find. Um, Reaper is a program that you can use for free. Now I know for certain that you can use it for free for two months. Um, however, in the short time that I have started to use this program, I've really started to appreciate all of the extra things it can do compared to completely free programs like Audacity, um, including um, the extra functionality of sending uh, sound and receiving sound from outside programs like Jamulus. Um, that's something that Audacity can't do. Um, at least, I don't think it can. Um, Someone can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Uh, so you, I'm just going to take you through the first half of the download process because I want to make sure to point out something. We're going to click on download Reaper from the top and we have our Windows and Mac options. And we are going to click download for the appropriate uh, setup. It's going to download a quick little install feature. We're going to click on it. We are going to agree to whatever that says. We're going to choose a folder. We're going to click next. We are going to say yes. And here is why I, I, I wanted to show this to you. I want you to go into, before you go to the next step, I want you to go to optional functionality and you're gonna press this plus button to make it greater. The first time that I downloaded uh, Reaper, this button right here, reroute ASIO driver, was not checked. Um, and so we want to make sure that that is checked so that it downloads. Now, if you uh, went ahead and you downloaded all of this um, before waiting for instructions, um, you uh, 
I, I try to just download this separately. I feel like your best bet might be to uninstall Reaper and then just to reinstall again with this driver clicked. Um, but once you see that everything is clicked here, you're going to click install. I already have it installed, so we're just going to pretend like I did. This might be a good time to pause the video and get everything set up. And we're going to start um, right after you've downloaded everything. So once you've downloaded everything, we are going to go into Reaper. And you can see that we end up with um, sort of a blank void here that may feel a little overwhelming at first. Um, there is definitely a little bit of getting used to how to uh, navigate this program. But honestly, once you do, it's very straightforward. All of our tracks, all of our music making is going to happen up here. And so in order to add two tracks, we're going to double click and double click. And we end up with our two tracks. Now here you can name them. And I am just going to name this um, that one, everybody, <laughs> and that one, me so that you know uh, what exactly these two tracks are meant to do. Um, this, the top one, everybody, is going to be everyone else that is on Jamulus. Me is me, or you in your case. Now, d once we created those two tracks, two uh, different tracks uh, opened up uh, in the mixer that's down here at the bottom. Um, mixer is just a way of saying how much you want to hear of all of the tracks that are going. And it's also where you control what those tracks record. And so this is where uh, we need to do a little bit of setting up. So we're going to go to the upper right here. Um, this doesn't look like it's a menu, uh, but it is. You're going to click on it and you get a whole bunch of different preferences. And here you're going to see under audio, we're going to go to device and uh, you might have to choose this, but mine right now is already set to do ASIO for all. And it shows the inputs that I have selected. Now let's say that you don't have inputs specifically selected here. You can go to ASIO configuration. And the reason that I wanted to show this in length is because I wanted to show you another little quirk of ASIO. So um, we are accustomed to wanting to see a little blue arrow here that lets us know that we are good to go. Um, however, with these options still open, those blue arrows won't show. And so what you want to do is make sure that you have your correct input and output uh, assigned. This is uh, my real tech, my default output. And then I'm using my webcam for now so that I can continue to use my microphone and take a look. It looks like those things are not going to work. However, if we close our settings, all of a sudden <laughs> those devices uh, start working. And so that's how we get our green arrows. And we are set up in terms of uh, our audio. Now we need to uh, determine where all of this audio goes. So let's go to this first one here. This first one was everyone else within Jamulus. Okay, so our input is going to be a stereo input and we're going to use reroute one and two. Okay, reroute is the uh, additional functionality that Reaper has in order to root, thus the reroute, but R-E-A because of Reaper. It took me a second to figure that out. Um, it, we're going to use this reroute to grab audio from Jamulus and have it sent into Reaper. So I'm going to click one and two. And then I'm going to do something similar to this over here, but my input right now is my webcam. You can see there it is right there. And right down at the bottom of the mixer is, or, or sorry, the middle of the mixer is this option that says root. We are going to click on root because we need to send our sound out. 
And in order to do that, we are going to add a new hardware output. And our hardware output is going to be reroute one and two. Same thing, okay? Um, now, before you leave uh, this window here, we're going to want to click master send, or I should say unclick. Um, if you don't want to hear yourself during this process. It's very possible that you might want to hear yourself. Um, again, it's uh, sort of a, a preference-based thing. If you want to hear how you are blending with everyone else, uh, or if you just want to assume that everything's going just fine and then do the blending afterwards, master send on is going to allow you to hear yourself. Master send off will keep you just hearing you in real time. So with that done, I am going to click this. And you might be thinking to yourself, well, wait a minute, nothing is going on. Now, if I click this record arm button, it's very important. If I just click record, it's going to give me an error message saying that, hey, um, no tracks are armed for recording. This is sort of like a, an extra little uh, fail safe um, so that you don't start recording over things that you uh, don't want to record over. Uh, so you are going to click this for ARM, and then all of a sudden we start getting some meters happening. That's my webcam picking up my voice. And this is for now all you need to do with Reaper. Now let's go into Jamulus. We're going to minimize this. We're going to open up Jamulus and we're going to go to settings and then we're going to go to sound card. Now we have been choosing ASIO for all. Um, however, notice how where normally we would see inputs and outputs down here, we see absolutely nothing because ASIO is being used by Reaper right now. Um, remember one of the nice things, but also sometimes frustrating things about ASIO is that it does absolutely no thinking for you. Um, and so if you are using it for something else, or if you are using audio that you're trying to use for ASIO, it is not going to do anything that you don't ask it to do. Um, and so we aren't going to use ASIO. We are going to use that reroute program right here. Okay. We see that our inputs and outputs have changed to reroute one and two and one and two. And we get some buffer delays that are now um, uh, grayed out here. Um, this 128 is actually a setting within, uh, within Reaper. And so if you need to change that, um, you're going to go through Reaper and do that. Um, but 128 is a decent setting for us. Again, if your connection is great, then you can perhaps lower it to 164 to, or sorry, to 64 rather, uh, to get yourself uh, an even faster signal. So once we do that, and we connect, let's see, have I started my Jamula server today? I haven't, and so we are going to connect to our server. <laughs> okay, and uh, my, um, something must be a little bit wrong with my server. However, you can see that I've got some things moving on the side here, um, and that lets you know that my sound is going through my webcam microphone, um, into ASIO, into Reaper, and then that Reaper is sending it into Jamulus, making this go up and down like this. And if I go back into Reaper, you can see that my webcam is also sending the signal right here. Um, now, that should be everything. That will allow you to record. However, I want to cover one more quick thing in terms of, let's say in the middle of um, a recording, after you finish the take, you want everyone to be able to listen to it, give a little feedback, um, be uh, way too harsh of a critic on themselves and their own voices. Uh, fun times. Uh, so we are going to go down here to our master mixer down at the bottom left. And we're going to see that we have a root option here as well too. 
The default is to put it through your audio outputs, which in this case are my headphones, okay? And so if you don't want everyone else within your session to hear, you don't need to do anything else once you've recorded. You're going to be able to hear it played back just fine. However, if you want to send it to, uh, to, to Jamulus, you are going to click on this output here, and then we're going to add another output. And which output that we want do we want to choose? Reroute one and two, of course. And then we click close. And that is how we are going to get uh, our uh, mixer heard uh, by everyone in Jamulus. However, um, when you play this for everyone, you're going to want to make sure to go back into your own route and click Master Send so that all of a sudden now, as you can see, um, not only am I sending information to my individual track, but then the track is sending the information to the master. So now whatever has been recorded is going to be heard by the master. Okay, um, and so I'm going to click close to this and if I pressed play and there were things to actually play and we were actually connected with people within Jamulus, they would hear it. However, <laughs> once you start recording again or doing anything again, really, um, leaving this reroute one and two as an output for the mixer is going to cause uh, everyone else that's with you in Jamulus to hear themselves back again. Right, they are sending you information that's getting sent to this track here, and um, and and it's then um, right. Be the 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 mixer is then being sent. Sorry, I was trying to think if there was a more elegant solution to what I'm about to say, and I don't think there is. Um, so, once you're done playing the recording for everyone, you're just simply going to want to go up to reroute one and two, and you're going to want to click and click mute and then click done. And then you can see this turns red and you know that in this case red is good because it means that then everyone who is with you in Jamulus won't be able to hear an echo of themselves. And then of course, before you start singing again, if it's so your preference, you're gonna to wanna to go back into the route for your track and you're going to want to click master send so that you can no longer hear yourself within the master. Okay, so that is pretty much everything. Um, I am still trying to learn Reaper, although uh, once I get a decent grasp of it, I may do a quick little, little tutorial uh, with some extra functionality. Uh, however, there are also some really great YouTube tutorials on Reaper that I have yet to watch. Uh, so please look out for those. And in fact, I will... Um, put a link uh, to those tutorials in the description of the video. So let's just one more time recap. Um, we are still going to use ASIO, but we are going to set up ASIO within Reaper. We're going to choose it as the, the ASIO driver that we want. Um, I almost forgot to mention, uh, but I'm not going to redo the video. Um, that there are a couple different options here for your audio system. And if you do not see, or, or, or if it doesn't look right, you're going to click on ASIO, and then you're going to be able to do everything else. I hope that that doesn't cause an issue. Um, if you just got to the end of this video and it was causing you trouble, I'm terribly sorry, just watch again real quick. Um, however, we're going to set up ASIO through Reaper, um, Reaper is then going to gather our sound and through the reroute option down here that we added, it's going to then send that sound back into Jamulus. And then with reroute, it is going to go back into Reaper and then into ASIO and then our ears. Um, and so one last time, just remember in our settings within Jamulus, you want to choose reroute. Okay, I've made this video sufficiently long, <laughs> so I am going to head out for now. Um, please enjoy this and please enjoy making music together.